Hey, TikTok world. So, I'm not good at keeping up on trends, like legit. But apparently, there's a new trend of, I can take your man. And all I gotta say is, congratulations, Jesse Bailey. This beautiful nurse, St. Francis Hospital, Tulsa, Oklahoma, decided she wanted to play. And what did she win? Boom! Christian preacher, ordained minister, Christian Gray. Oh, what? Look at her raising up in the ranks. You got yourself an authentic, tall, dark, handsome, God-fearing preacher man. Congratulations, seriously. So, uh, that's my husband. Christian Gray and his girlfriend, uh, she decided to switch up that profile picture to let everybody know that she's in a serious relationship with a married man. But don't worry. Don't worry. They were not serious until he left his family a year after his daughter died. They weren't serious until he actually moved out. Then when he moved out, they were serious enough to go on a family vacation within two weeks, and he used our family funds to do that. So congratulations on going back to his hometown and taking all the family vacations we used to take. The baseball game, Rosalita's, that Mexican shit is on point. So I hope you enjoyed that. It looked like you did. I mean, I saw the bill. So, uh, congratulations, but if you guys could refrain from using our uh, family bill money as date money, that would be splendid. So, um, Jesse Bailey, congratulations again. Uh, you won the contest. Uh, me and my boys, we're going to be okay. I mean, I know you were following my Facebook page, so you saw that we had two other kids together and our daughter had just died the year before, so our family was very fragile already, but I'm glad y you swooped in. Uh, I hear his excuse was he needed somebody to pray with, so I'm glad you found you a prayer warrior. Like, praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So, Stephanie, is it? Stephanie, we got a lot to unpack here. You know, you're talking about Jesse, so on and so forth. But it looks like your hubby left you. You know, you guys had some trauma, obviously. Whatever you may have, you know, had to dealt, deal with PTSD or whatever from your daughter and things like that. And who knows what goes on behind closed doors? I mean, I understand that people do get divorced. People do leave their wives. But... You're telling your side, we don't know what's going on with, with bro, Christian, or whatever. But he got his Becky by his side, and that's by choice, because if he wanted to be with you, he would have came back. I don't think it's right for you to blame Becky for this. I mean, excuse me, Jesse. You know, and the fact that you have so many rights, why don't you just, you know, and I maybe you're, you know, on that holy roller tip, Christian, so on and so forth. But you, you... You can file for divorce if he's left. Obviously, he's moved on. They're in a relationship. He proclaimed that he doesn't want to be with you. He's clapping the cheek. What is that, Sam? Even though he's still married to you, go ahead and file for divorce. You know, what's all this? You're blasting him on TikTok. You're probably trying to get some support and momentum. From my understanding, it was taken down off TikTok because of bullying. But good buddy... Good buddy looks like he's uh he's happy with her. Let's let's move over some so you can see. Okay, there we go. Good buddy looks like he's happy. And baby, you got your kids or whatever. You know, I know you've seen you guys maybe have a joint account. You see him spending the bread, so on and so forth. If he moved back, you said let the big homie live his best life. And you go ahead and weaponize the court system and do your thing, baby. If you complain about money. Don't be spending bill money. Hey, there's a way to fix that. That's why there are courts, right? Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I think that this has become sensationalized because of the fact that Jesse is a Becky. And my husband, I think I saw the video that you posted. My husband left me for a white woman. Now, let's hear his side of the story. Maybe he just left you because... There was a lot of BS going on behind it. There was some stuff that couldn't be reconciled. He may have tried and, you know, he just, sometimes that's just what it is. Why live in torment? Why live in hell? Why live in 
where you're constantly being berated or that you're not doing certain things or you're not being able to do this. Sometimes you can't, man. So anyway, man, you know, I, I think that this is something goes on in terms of cheating. Yeah, technically he's married. So, yeah, he is cheating, if you will. But he moved out, left you. And that's that. Go ahead and get you a new guy. You know what I mean? Do your thing. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali. Make sure to book that one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Subscribe to this channel. Hit all notifications. Subscribe to my backup channel, JR Wisdom Unlimited. And subscribe to the Hustlers Apprentice channel. Purchase all my books and merch. Yo, let's run this up to 100,000 subscribers. Y'all quit playing. Let's do it. I know I know y'all got my back. Help your boy out. And um, listen, man. Every Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in to the Cuffing Reason show at 8 p.m. And tune in to the Fried Chicken and Communion podcast. Look forward to seeing you guys there. With that being said, listen, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beef maker. And I don't know. I'm going to put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you them